I'm a flirt. Soon as I see you, walk up in the club. I'm a flirt. Winking eyes at me when I pull up on them dubs. I'm a flirt. What's up Diamond Squad, it's your girl Sinai Diamond here and I'm back again with another video. If this is the first time you're seeing my face upon your screen, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button, like this video, um, oh my god, <laughs> subscribe, like this video, and be a part of the Diamond Squad. Be sure to also turn on that bell notification. I forgot what to say, like, so today I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be doing, um, my brush collection video i will do a part two to this when i do buy more brushes because i definitely do i definitely need to buy some more brushes so i'm gonna start off with my wet and wild brushes so this is a foundation brush so i'm also going to be telling you guys which one like my favorite brushes to use and all that stuff so this um eyeshadow brush from wet and wild is one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes, I don't really like use it to apply eyeshadow on. I just use it to like blend out the concealer. Like when I put the concealer here, I just use that. And then over here is a large concealer brush. Um, I had a small concealer brush too, but I lost it. So, yeah. So, this is a large concealer brush. I also use it for concealer and all that stuff. I used to um use that to apply the glitter. But, um... I don't use that no more to apply the glitter. And this is one of my new um, Wet n Wild brushes. This is a crease brush. I have not used this yet. So, yeah. This brush, I'm not sure this brush is. I forgot exactly what this brush is. Or what you use this for. But, um, that's that brush. Over here is a foundation brush. I don't really like this foundation brush because you just apply it like that. And I don't like applying foundation like that. So, that's that brush. Here is this contour brush. But it doesn't really contour it good. It doesn't blend really well. This, that's why it really sucks. But, you know, hey, I bought it at Dollar Tree. And on the actual website, probably cost like $2. I don't know. But, um, yeah. I got the, the contour brush. This is, I received the angled brush. I'm not sure. But I used that one to obviously apply the glitter when i'm doing a glitter eyeshadow look this one i'm not sure what this one is either but you know i just bought it so at the dollar tree and yeah and this is a flat top brush from the things i have like almost a lot of wet and wire brushes like i almost have a complete set i just don't have the fan brush or some of the new brushes that they have but yeah i used to use this brush to apply my bronzer but i stopped using this brush so yeah, this is all my wet and wild brushes. Next, um, um, from Shop Miss A, these are the AO Studio brushes, my big fan brush and my small fan brush, and of course my highlighting brush, which I absolutely love. This highlighting brush, love it. And then, um, I used to use this one too, but I feel like this one up applies like blends out the highlight more better than the fan brush so you yeah, have those three. Oh yeah also from wet and wild i have this eyeshadow brush as well i used to use this when i used to put on the stick highlighter i used to like use this to blend it out but i don't use this no more but yeah this is an eyeshadow brush next from elf got a lot of elf brushes I got this eyeshadow brush here that is broken. Like, it's literally broken. Like, see? Literally broken, but I've been not using it. I have this crease brush, which is my favorite crease brush to use. Love this. It blends my eyeshadow out very smoothly and nicely. Next is this um contour brush. I used to use this a lot when I, when I used to use the cream contour palette. I would use this to put... To blend it out and i will also use this to blend it out too and i use this for contouring um yeah i know i use this a lot for contouring so yeah this is very good um when it comes to contouring especially if it's like powder contour it's really good so i really like this brush next this one is uh also i was gonna say fantasy one this is a, a limiting blending brush and 
yeah it's really good when you blend out the foundation you just need you just really need to put more effort into but it. it blends out um the foundation pretty good and this one is the the eyeshadow brush um i like this eyeshadow brush but i barely use it because i use i almost use a crease brush for my eyeshadow look so yeah and this brush so let me go on this was about six dollars this one i'm not sure but i think like two dollars three dollars for that and then these i got these from shop miss a because shop miss a sells elf products so i got this for a dollar and then um this one probably like three dollars i believe i'm not sure um and yeah and also the all of these right here not all of them but like some of these in here i got at the dodgy for a dollar some of these i bought in my local drugstore pharmacy and yeah so not all of those was a dollar and yeah and you know the seventh a brushes are a dollar as well next brush i have here is this brush is a contour brush from Forever 21. I'm really disappointed in this brush because this brush was not a dollar. It was more than a dollar, okay? And I'm disappointed that I even decided to buy this brush because, first of all, this brush doesn't even blend out very good. It does not blend out good at all. I tried using this brush as a contour for, like, contour my face, so that's because it is a contour brush, but it does not blend well so i'm kind of disappointed by that next here i have my bh cosmetics lip line lip liner lip brush and yeah it still has some lip stains on it because i couldn't i think it just stained the brush so yeah so i actually love using this brush obviously for my lips and it lined my lips very nicely so yeah Next, I have is my Kiko Milano brush. Yeah, I can't see the name because obviously I use it a lot. The name was like literally right here. But I guess I use it too much. Like it faded away. Like I only could see like a little bit of the word Cynthia. So yeah, it's completely gone. But this is, I forgot I used the powder. But this is my Kiko Milano brush. And it's supposed to be right, white right here. I just used this brush this morning. That's why it's a little bit dirty again. So yeah, I don't know what collection this brush is from because I bought this brush a long time ago and I got this for $15. Yes, this was the first brush I bought for $15. So, yeah, and the second brush I bought for $15 was this NYX foundation brush, which I do not regret buying at all because this is a good, good brush. My favorite brush to use for foundation, the NYX one love this so much like this blends out so good so yeah next is this um i don't know what you call this brush angle brush something like that but yeah no i use this a lot for doing my eyebrows so that's that brush right there and it's also from nyx i paid a nine dollars for this brush so yeah, and this um the BH Cosmetics one I paid uh, I think a dollar or two dollars for it. And yeah you guys. Oh yeah. Also I have these like brush things right here, but I never use these. Like even these I know this could probably blend out eyeshadow kind of good. But um still I never use it. And I never use this brush. Obviously that's why it's dirty because I never use it. But um yeah you guys, that is all of the brushes that I have all of the brushes that I have I would definitely buy some more brushes because I definitely need some more brushes but I want to try some other brushes out like I know shop with a have new brushes BH cosmetics have new brushes I want to also try Amazon brushes too to see if they good quality and stuff like that so um yeah you guys um uh, let me know y'all thing let me know like you know I don't know, but yeah, give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and find me on. I cannot talk today. Oh yeah, by the way, I did not go to school today because I have a day today, and I woke up so late today. Like it's so hard for me to get to school on time first period. So I was just like, you know what? It's a half a day. I only had three classes to go to today, so it's no big deal. Anyways. Follow me on social media, say down in the description box down below. 
and subscribe to my second channel is in the description box the link to it it's not Cornel Cornel and email me for any collaboration business my email is in the description box down below and yeah I might do another video today so who knows I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys that's my choice get money get money like a